Are you ready for the Great Awakening? Hey guys, how's it going out there? It's Chris Lemig here at Gateway to the Limitless. I'm an author, spiritual educator, and former Tibetan Buddhist monk. And I teach a program called Gateway to the Limitless, which uh, teaches skills and meditations and techniques to connect you to your true self, discover your true desires, and start to live and manifest your true destiny. So the Great Awakening, uh, what are we talking about here? Now, I think that this is kind of a new age term uh, that's been thrown out uh, around there a lot. And that's great. That's fine. I, I do think that if we are paying attention uh, over the past, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, maybe even longer, we have been seeing a, an awakening of consciousness happening uh, in our world, uh, all over the world, where we're kind of starting to shift away from those old paradigms, those old power structures, those old institutions that are really all about the, um, the uh, unconscious, uh, uninspired, undivine sort of domination of masculine energy that's really all about you know, war and aggression and greed and all that kind of stuff. And we're starting to wake up from that, from that horrible nightmare, little by little. And uh, we've seen this happening in our world through just the exposure that things like meditation and mindfulness and spirituality and Reiki and yoga and you name it, across the board, people are becoming more and more aware of various spiritual consciousness raising activities and um, tools that are available to us as human beings. So I think it's undeniable uh, to to say that uh, there is a great awakening that is occurring and there's a raising of consciousness on our planet uh, It's still very much we're still under the stranglehold if you will of the of the old ways of thinking and I think this is just a almost a reactionary uh, Mechanism here the the old ways are dying out and so this is sort of their last death throes And so they're manifesting as just more aggression and more greed and more inequality so how do we accelerate this great awakening? How do we accelerate this process of raising the consciousness of the planet, of the human race? Well, there are several ways that you can start to participate and get ready for this great awakening and hasten this great awakening. Um, a few that I want to just kind of toss out here, and there are many more, but there's three that I was just thinking of this morning that are uh, really powerful. So the first and foremost is to start being mindful of loving yourself, right? I think a lot of us uh, experience or have experienced in this time that we're living in, you know, deep sense of shame, of unworthiness, of uh, not prioritizing our own health and well-being, uh, not taking care of ourselves. That's why there's so much emphasis these days on self-care and on self-love. Well, it's because we need it. So start being more mindful. Uh, are you loving yourself? Are you treating yourself with kindness? Are you encouraging yourself? Are you being patient with yourself? Um, think about how you're talking to yourself and, and the actions that you're taking in the world. So number one, start loving yourself more. Uh, the second one is to, um, to start disengaging from uh, what I call like popular media. Now, I'm not talking about just you know, cutting out all uh, media, all movies and TV and social media and stuff like that, but, but start to disengage from, from the content that really isn't helping you, the content that's actually making you more unhappy, more discontent, more agitated, more angry, more emotional. Start to identify those, uh, those, those bits of media out there, the information and the content that you're consuming, and we are consuming it, uh, that isn't making you happy, right? And start to disengage from that. Um, I've actually just recently stopped watching uh, TV shows, which is crazy because I love TV shows and I'm one of those people that definitely can, I can binge a TV show, believe me. Uh, Well-written, great story. Um, but I found that, you know, over the past year or so that it's become less and less interesting to me and I, I just kind of want to focus on other things. So I've been pulling away from that sort of that popular culture entertainment media and content and shifting towards just different kinds of content which is generally more uplifting, more educational, more about how do I help myself to raise my own consciousness level. So number two, disengage from media content that is not helpful to you, that's not raising your consciousness. Start shifting either towards more quiet time, more time just 
being spacious and uh, you know, disengaged from all that or start just focusing more on positive content. And then finally, if you haven't already, start a meditation practice. Start a regular practice. And I know that scares a lot of people and a lot of people say, I don't have the time and you know, I can't meditate and it's too hard for me. Well, you know, just, just take a breath. Just take a breath, all right? Just take a breath with me right now. There we go. Okay, well, you know what? Guess what? You just meditated. You just meditated for whatever that was, 10 seconds or 15 seconds. And that's really all you have to start doing. You can just start with that. You can just start with taking a few mindful breaths a day. You can start with five minutes a day. You can gradually increase that according to what feels right for you, what's appropriate for you. But the main thing is to just simply do it, to start doing it just a little bit. Just become a little more mindful and a little more present. Now, if you already have a meditation practice going, I recommend that you just think about maybe increasing the time that you spend on your meditation practice, on your mindfulness practices by, I don't know, maybe 20%. So if you're already doing a five minute a day meditation, for example, maybe you can bump it up to six minutes, right? So it really doesn't have to be that much, just a incremental um, you know, addition to your time that you're spending doing these wonderful meditation practices. Because every minute that you spend being present, being aware, um, focusing your attention on your breath, focusing your attention on awareness, being aware of being aware, believe it or not, is contributing to the great awakening. It's not just your awakening, it's all of our awakening. And the more we do this together, the faster it's gonna happen, the, the more we're, <laughs> more quickly we're gonna get out of the, 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 the shithole that we've been in for the past couple thousand years, and we can start stepping into a new phase of human evolution, uh, a new phase of consciousness for us. So that's what I got for today, dear hearts and fellow spiritual travelers. My name is Chris Lemmig here at Gateway to the Limitless. Please like this video. Let me know what you think about it uh, down in the comments. I really appreciate your comments. Uh, what works for you for helping to raise your consciousness, for helping to kind of wake you up? What practices that do you find most effective for yourself? Or what resources do you find are most helpful to you? I'd love to know down in the comments. So like this video, share it. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, let's spread this word. Let's spread this message. Let's hasten this great awakening that's happening. Let's lift our consciousness. Let's lift ourselves into love, into light, into just greater and greater awareness. Take care and be well. Thank you.